so just coming into your standing position, feet about hip width apart, and we're just going to start with some breath. So just take your arms up, big deep breath in, and then just float the arms down and just get into a little bit of a routine, breathing in, breathing out. Just start to bring your awareness to your feet and what you can feel down there. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthen up from the crown of the head. See nice and long, shoulder blades softly down away from the ears. And just lifting up long and tall out of the body. So kind of thinking about being light on your feet, but feeling the weight around all the borders of your foot. Okay, we're going to take it into a half, like a forward fold, but you're going to fold in the middle. So you take a breath in, on the breath out, hinge at the hip and come down, pause at the bottom, just hold it there and hang and just feel that nice stretch through the back part of you down to your tailbone. Take a breath in and then slowly unravel coming up and then keep going. So breathe in, breathe out, fold forward, hinging at the hip, little hold, pause at the bottom, just let your hands float to the floor, let your neck be heavy. Take a breath in and then slowly unravel. Up one vertebrae at a time and again, breathing in. So just get into a little flow. Hold it at the bottom. You might feel you can take a bit more of a stretch. You might feel you can get your hands a bit, a bit closer to the floor. Take a breath in and slowly unravel. We've got two more. Breath in, fold in the middle, coming down. Holding it down, breath, and then on the breath out, slowly unravel. Last one, breathing in, breathing out, floating down, little pause. Breath in, and then breathing out, coming back up. Okay, just give your shoulders a little roll. And then we're going to come into feet again, hip width apart, some Again, a bit of breath and some chair pose. So you're going to take a breath in and sit back in your heels. Make sure your knees are going over your toes so you're not letting your knees roll in. Breathe in and then float back. Breathe in and float. So sort of keep it nice and flowy and soft. Breath in, sit back in the heels. So you should be able to kind of lift your toes up off the floor. So the weight is in the back of the heel. Breathing in, breathing out. That's it, good. For three more. And then on the third one, we're going to hold it down there. So hold, reach the arms wherever you can. If they don't go up, reach them forward. Again, think about being long through the crown. Hold that position. And hold it there for a couple more breaths. Four, three, two, one, and release. Come up and just give it all a little shake. Okay, we're just going to work on a little bit of balance tonight. So I want you to come onto one foot. Now, to start with, you can have your toes touching. You can try and lift your foot off the floor. You can have your arms wherever you want, out to the side, come into heart centre or come into a tree pose if you feel you can. But just find a focal point and just focusing on holding that balance. That's good. Okay, and come down and have a little break. But now we're going to challenge that a bit further. So you're going to come onto that leg. And again, your arms can be wherever you want them to be, maybe out to the side. And I just want you to try and softly swing that leg. So swing it, a little, keep it a little bit bent so you're not hitting the floor. And just softly swing, nice and slow, just a bit forward, 
a bit back as you lift up that hip. Try to keep your hips square so you're not really leaning over to one side. Still think about being long through the crown. Keep breathing. Now you can stay here or you can go back to just holding that stationary position. If you wanna just work a little bit harder from here, we're going into aeroplane. Keep the arms out wide and just float forward, lift the leg up behind you and just hold that there for five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, give that leg a little shake that you were just standing on. Start to feel a bit tired. And then swap legs, so anchor down onto the other side and just start with a little focus, hands anywhere, foot on the floor or foot softly off the floor and breathing. Just fix your eyes onto something and just find a nice steady position. And breathing for five, four, Three, two, one. Good. Just give it a little shake. Give your shoulders a little roll. And then coming back onto that leg, take the arms out to the side and just start to softly swing the leg forward and back. Nice and slow. And if you feel this is too much for you at any time, even just standing still with that foot off the floor, the swinging obviously makes you work a lot harder into that ankle and leg for three more, two, and then option is to stay where you are or put your foot back on the floor. Otherwise have a go at coming into aeroplane and softly just bending forward. You're long through the body, holding it there for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good work job. Give it a little shake. And then come on down onto all fours. We're gonna start in. So just set yourself up, hands under the shoulders, fingers splayed, knees under the hips and just coming into some cat cow. So round it out, lengthen and lift the tailbone, lift the head. And using your breath either way, doesn't matter whatever feels right for you. Three more. And then coming back to your neutral spine, so draw those shoulders down away from the ears, tuck the chin in so the neck is long, and you're gonna take one leg just out to the side, just a little hip abduction. Now you won't lift that high here, but just think about lifting the knee up towards the ceiling. Stay long through the body, strong through the arms, little lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep lengthening out through the body for five, four, three, two, one, and release and swap legs. The other side lifts and lower. So you get a little bit of pelvic rotation here. That's okay. We're not rotating the pelvis right around. So just try to keep that pelvis relatively steady. You get that glute, hip, all those little hip muscles, deep hip muscles in there working. For five, four, three, two, one. And just take your legs, knees apart if you can. Sit back in child's pose, just take Good stretch. Nice big deep breath. And 
and hold it down low and just walk your fingers over to one side. So you're just moving to one side. Feel the stretch down your side body. And then come back to the other side. So just walk your fingers over to the other side. Okay, and then come on up and grab your band and you're going to kneel on it on one side. So just find a spot for it, anchor it down over under one knee and then wrap it around your fingers or holding it in your hand on that same side and think about being nice and strong through that shoulder blade that's the hands on the floor and we're just going to do a little shoulder press reach away now the obviously the looser you hold the band the easier it is if your shoulders don't like being out here in this position take it under and just push up so just like a little push up so you don't have to go far you're still getting shoulder flexion but if you've got if your shoulders are okay take your hand out to the side and push forward your arms out and you're just pushing ahead like your sort of superman arm it's not easy if it's too hard with the band do it without the band arm by side reach it overhead reach it overhead so it's not an easy exercise with the band you need to be quite strong just three more And then just relax that arm that was just working and thread it under, thread the needle. Take a big deep breath. And then come back up and swap sides. So just pop the band under your knee, holding the band in the other hand and then reaching forward the neck stays long draw that shoulder blade down as you bring your arm back into your side You're just reaching overhead push it over bring it back in push it away bring it back in for five four Three, two, one, and release. Thread the needle, take it under, and just hold the stretch. Okay, and coming back up, we're just going to go into an opposite arm and leg. So just your basic Superman, the so opposite arm and leg. Reaching away, just come back to focusing on being nice and steady <clears throat> through the torso, long from the crown of the head. Breathing with the movement, so try not to hold your breath and just really focus on nice, slow, steady, really good form. Now you can stay here if you want to try something just a little bit harder. We're going to hold one arm and leg out and then we're bending. So curl the arm, curl the hamstring for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and release if you need a little wrist break just sit up give your wrist a little roll and then come on to the other side so opposite arm and leg extend then bend the elbow bend the knee nice and steady for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 
nine, eight, so it's opposite hand, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Just take it back into child's pose for another little stretch. All right, and we're just going to finish off this position with planking. So your options for plank are on your knees, just keep your hands a bit further forward and just drop your pelvis. So from the crown of the head to your knees, you're like a plank, okay? And hold it there for 10 seconds. If you feel you can come into full plank, hands stay below the shoulders, you extend one leg, you extend the other leg and you hold it there. Shoulder blades down, chin tucked in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great, drop the knees, sit back, give your hands a little shake. We're gonna do one more. So your option, so you can be on your knees, you can be in full plank, just go wherever you feel you can. You might surprise yourself in full plank. Be stronger than you think. So hands come back down under the shoulders, draw the shoulder blades down, extend one leg, anchor it down, extend the other. Even if you can hold it for five seconds, do that, it's excellent. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, fantastic effort. Come back into child's, take a stretch. And just relax your hands, the wrists, stay in child's, but just give your wrists a little, float them up and down, round and around. Big deep, deep breath. And then we're gonna come down onto the tummy. So when you're ready, just make your way down. Bring your um, forehead onto your hands to start with and bend your knees up. And just windscreen wiping your legs from side to side. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Okay, and then take your legs out long. We're gonna take that into a single leg kick. So you bend one foot up. You take that foot just softly towards the ceiling. You extend the leg and you lower, and then you swap. So bend, a little lift, extend and lower. So you're not lifting far. Okay, it's just a very soft lift. Just working into those glutes. Try not to strain into the lower back. If you're lifting up too high, you will put too much pressure on your lower back. So just little movement. Bend, lift, extend, lower. Bend, lift, extend, lower. And soft through the upper body. So no straining into the upper body, keeping it soft, keeping the neck long. Just one more on each side. Last one. And then just do a little pelvic tilt. So just tuck the tailbone under. You should feel the lower back lengthening out. Tuck and release. Tuck and release. Okay, and then we're gonna come into our opposite arm and leg lift. So you can have your hands out in front or stop sign by, the, by your side. So if you have any shoulder issues, you're in stop sign. If you can have your hands above the head, 
keep the forehead on the floor and just start with a little opposite arm and leg lift. Just bring your awareness to how that feels. You might feel like on one side, it feels quite easy. On the other side, it's a little bit harder. Just work within the range that you can comfortably. Now, if you want to, you can lift your head and sternum up off the floor, but keep your eyes down and keep breathing. Keep being long through the body. So imagine we're stretching from the crown of the head right down, tailbone lengthening away. It's just a slow, steady, controlled movement. Now you can stay with opposite arm and leg. If you want to just work those muscles a little bit harder, bring both arms and legs into a little lift and lower. A little lift and lower. Squeeze into the bottom for five, four, three, two, and one. And bring your forehead back onto your hands and lift your knees and just legs, just windscreen wiper again. Just unlock the lower back. Okay, just bring your hands down by your side. Have your forehead on the floor. Let your shoulders relax to the, the floor. So you should sort of feel like you're a bit rounded through your upper back. And then keeping your head on the floor, I just want you to squeeze the shoulder blades and then release. So you're just lifting the shoulder blades up together. So imagine you're trying to pinch a cherry between those shoulder blades and then let, let it go. Let the shoulder blades come back around the body. So a little pinch, and then they slide back. Your shoulders come towards the floor. Little pinch. Keep reaching your fingers down towards your toes. So as you squeeze those shoulder blades, you're not also squeezing up towards your ear. And now lift the head and keep doing the shoulder blades. So keep the head lifted, sternum lifted, but the shoulders go from pinching together to releasing. But you're maintaining an upper, upper back, little bit of extension there. So keep the eyes down, just pinch the shoulder blades, release. Pinch and release. For five, four, Three, two, and one. Lower down, just turn your head to one side and just take a big deep breath into your back ribs. And let your shoulders sag to the floor. And then softly lift your head and turn it the other way and take a couple more breaths. So just nice big deep breath, relaxing the upper body. Now bring your forehead back onto the floor. Lift your shoulders off the floor. So pinch those shoulder blades together. Reach your fingers towards the toes. And then I want you to go from having your palms up facing the ceiling to palms down. Palms up, palms down. So you're keeping your arms kind of squeezed into your side body. So don't let your arms float out. The shoulder blades are squeezing together and we're just going from up, down. Palms up, palms down. If you're doing this correctly, you should be starting to feel a little bit of a burn in the back of your upper arm. So your tricep muscle. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release for five, four, three, two, 
one and come on down. Just bring your hands, take them up above your head or under your forehead again, and just actually put your forehead on your hands and just softly roll your head from side to side, keeping your head heavy. Okay, and then come on over onto your side. And if you've got your band there, wrap your knees up. Okay. So we're going to start with a leg circle. So have your legs out straight. The bottom leg can be a little bit bent just to anchor you down so you don't feel like you're gonna fall rock and roll. Keep the top leg out long and strong and just start with a little circle. It doesn't have to be a really big range here, but your focus is going backwards. So it's a little bit forward, but then I'm really taking it back behind me. So up and over to the back, up and over. Keeping that leg nice and strong. Keep the hips kind of stacked. So by that, I mean we're not rolling forward, then rolling back. And the top leg is straight. So it's really strong leg. And you're working a nice little circle there, getting those hip muscles all working. Now we're going to come back the other way. So circle back behind you, up and over. That's it. Nice and slow, controlled, steady. Keep breathing. That's it. Good. For five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Just give it a little rub. And the next one we're going to do, again, the bottom leg is just a little bit bent. You're going to take the top leg, you're going to tap the knee to the floor and then kick up behind you. So tap the knee and then kick up and back. Tap and then kick behind. So we're going from a bit of internal rotation to external rotation. Tap and kick, tap and kick. And you should feel those glutes starting to burn a little. That's it, good. Five, for four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, let's just give that bottom a little rest. Come down onto your side. Take your hands behind your head. You're going to roll forward and just sort of close the elbows down. They won't come completely together. And then open the chest roll open and let your eyes follow that opening elbow roll and close roll and open and the eyes follow the elbow keep your knees together and this should feel really kind of good get some really nice thoracic rotation breathe in as you open and get the ribs opening up and let the head be heavy in your hands. So there's no tension in your neck. You're just rolling your head. And you might feel you loosen up a bit as you keep going, just a little bit easier. For four more. For three. Two, last one. Okay, 
Okay, and you can stay down on your side. You can lift back up. We're coming back to the leg. And what we're gonna do this time is do like a rectangle. So from this start position, you take the foot forward, you lift it up, you take it back, you lower it down. Bring it forward, lift, back and down. So imagine you're tracing a rectangle shape with your foot. Forward, up, back, down. Forward, up, back, down. We won't be here for long. So three more, two, one, that's it, good. Give it another little rub and then extend both legs out long and have your front hand just supporting your front body, top body. And we're just gonna do a little double leg lift. So this is a small movement. And if you place your hand here in your side waist or your waist, when you do just the smallest little lift, you'll feel those muscles activate. So what I want you to think about is like you're trying to bring your hip towards your ribs. So it's just a little movement. Don't strain. Don't try and lift so high that you're straining your back and your hips. Just keep it soft, little side lift, side lift for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now, no, that's too hard. Come up on your side. We're going to do a little bit of side planking. So elbow under the shoulder, lift up out of that. So have a look on your screen if you're at home. You've got a, a right angle triangle here. So really imagine I'm holding your ribs and I'm lifting you up to the ceiling. Take the other hand to the ceiling. Now, if you can, you're gonna lift your hips off the floor. If that's too much for you, just hold this position and breathe. Otherwise, we're up for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax, good job, come on down. And we're just gonna slowly come onto your back. That bottom that you were just working, let's just give it a little stretch. So the one that was just doing the work, take your foot up onto your knee and if you can reach through. And just breathe into that hip and just see if you can release it. And then coming up and over onto the other side. All right, so set yourself up. Bottom leg just a little bit bent, top leg out straight and you're just starting with a circle. Just up and back, nice steady, slow, controlled circle with that focus on the back part of the circle up and back behind you keep breathing keep that leg long and strong Okay, let's take it back the other way now. So go back behind you, up and over. Back behind, up and over. That's it, good. Really nice, strong control for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now we're going to take that knee a little bit bent. We're going to drop the knee to the floor and then kick up behind. Drop and kick. So 
the knee touches and then up behind. Middle tap and push. It's like you're trying to push the wall behind you away. Tap and push. Tap and push. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now give that a little rub. And then just we'll give it a little break. Take your hands behind your head and just roll to close the elbows and then roll to open. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep the head heavy. Just let your eyes follow the elbow that's opening. Open up. Keep your knees together. Just go at your own pace and slow it down and just really feel where your body wants to go there, where it doesn't want to go. Using the breath, find if you can take the eyes towards that elbow, you should find you've got a bit more range. Just keep it soft and smooth. No straining. Three more. Last one. Okay, and now coming back to support the upper body and we're just coming into a little rectangle. So forward, lift, back and down. Bring your leg forward, lift it up, take it back and down. So just picture that rectangle in the air at the end of your mat and you're tracing it. Forward, lift, back and down. Nice and steady through the hips. If you need to have a break, just stop, have a pause. Forward, lift, up and down for three more. Forward, lift, back and down. Two to go. Last one. Okay, good job. Give it a rub. Okay, and then just extend um, both legs out long. Again, just support your upper body, but try and keep again the shoulders down away from the ears. So you're not hitching up like this. And then just a little double leg lift. Slowly up, slowly down. Breathing in, breathing out. Just nice and smooth. Nothing strong or jerky. Just a nice little control into that side body. Feel those side abdominal muscles switching on. That's it, good. For five, four, three, two, one, good. Now bend your knees, come on up into your side arm support. Then lift up out of that armpit. Neck is nice and long. Hips are kind of in line with the shoulder. Reach the other hand up to the ceiling. And then if you can, you're coming up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. All right, come on down, back onto your back. And you can take the band off and give that other bottom a stretch. So foot on the knee 
and just reaching through and giving it a stretch, just breathing into that muscle. And then just hug both knees into your chest and just give your back a little massage on the floor. And go back the other way. And then hold both, hold a knee in each hand and just rotate the ball in the socket. So you're just rolling the knees. And that's rolling the hip in its little socket. Get that hip oiler happening, loosen up, get the juices flowing. And then take your feet onto the floor, your knees together, take your arms out wide and drop your knees to one side, turn the head the other direction and then bring it up and over. So don't hold it for too long, just a little pause and then up and over. Head floats to the other side. Just loosen up a little bit more through your back. One more on each side. Okay, and then come back, bring your feet hip width apart, grab your band, take your arms to the ceiling, shoulder blades down, neck is long and you're coming into a double arm, chest opener, open, close, open, close. Keeping the head nice and heavy, pelvis stays steady, shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe in, breathe out. Keeping that chin softly tucked, like you've got a little lemon just under your chin, you're ever so softly holding it there. And just try and sink your ribs into the floor. Try not to pop your ribs up off the floor as you do this exercise. And then take it into a single arm, one arm and the other arm. So one arm stabilizes, the other arm opens. And you're keeping that torso kind of steady. So we're resisting the rotation, stabilizing with the pelvis through the tummy. Keep breathing. For four more, three, two, and one. Okay, drop the band down. Now you can have your hands anywhere, down by your side. You can take them up overhead, behind. We're coming into bridge. So just find whatever position you feel like tonight. Take a breath in. On the breath out, roll the pelvis to 12 o'clock and peel up off the floor. Take a breath in at the top and then articulate the spine one vertebrae at a time, slow it down. So just working through that in your own time. Keep your head and neck soft. So don't strain into your head or neck. Shoulders are down away from the ears. Pushing through the heels to squeeze into the bottom. And really work on that down control phase and seeing if you can really articulate the spine. Just keep the shoulders open, neck and head heavy. Using the breath to help control the movement. For two more. And 
on the next one, you're going to hold the top of the bridge. So come up and hold it there and then rotate your pelvis east, west or three o'clock to nine o'clock. So just think about that clock face, rolling the clock face from one side to the other, staying up in bridge, shoulders, neck, everything upper body is relaxed, no tension. Pushing through the heels. One more on each side. And then just roll it down. Hug your knees into your chest and just give your back a little roll. Okay, bring the feet back flat on the floor, hip width apart, and we're coming back up into bridge and we're going to hold it there and we're going to do a march. Now, if you can't do a lift one foot off the floor, just lift the heel. So just do a heel lift, okay? Focus on keeping that pelvis nice and steady. So the goal here is imagine a tray sitting across that front pelvis and as you lift one leg, you're not dipping the tray. So you really got to work through the glute the stabilizing glute to hold the other one up. And your lower back, keep breathing. And if that's too easy for you, bring your hands up to the ceiling. Take away the arm support, so only a little bit. You might just feel that adds another level of challenge. Keep that breath going for four. Three, two, one. Great work. Slowly roll it down, coming out of bridge. Just take your legs out long and just give them a little shake. Okay, come back up. Knees, feet flat. Knees apart. Now we're going to do a couple, we're going to do a little bit of pulsing, a single leg bridge pulse. So it looks like this. You're going to come to the top of the bridge and you're going to pulse up and down. Now if that's too much for you, have the other foot on the floor but just toes touching. to See if you can still get a little bit of almost single leg um, by having the toes on the floor. If you can bring your foot up off the floor, then do. So come to the top of the bridge and then it's just a little drop and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lower and swap sides. Other foot up. Peel yourself up into the top of the bridge and then little pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly down. Bring one knee in. Hug your knee to your chest. Extend the other leg away. And just gives that lower back a little stretch. And swap legs. Hug that knee in, lengthen the other leg away. Okay, and then you're going to hold that leg there and you're going to lift your head off the floor. Keep long from the crown, so don't crunch in everything. Open the chest, holding that leg, lift the other leg off the floor and then swap. Nice and strong. Kick one leg away, then the other. Hug one in, kick it away. Nice and strong. Nice and steady through the upper body. Pelvis is steady. Just moving the legs. That's it. Good. Excellent work for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Come down. Take your hands behind your head. Bring your feet together and just open your knees. Take a diamond stretch. 
Big deep breath into the front, into your tummy. Try and really let the tummy rise. And then bring your knees back up. Have your feet and knees just a little bit wider. Take your arms up towards the ceiling. And then when you're ready, you're going to take a breath in. You can even have your hands together or on top of each other. And you're going to lift up and reach between your knees and then lower slowly down. So coming up, little pause as you reach your hands between your knees, slowly lower. Just in your own time, no rush. Focus on taking the rib towards the hip. So we're closing down that rib hip space. So try not to really jerk on your neck to lift you up. It's really slow and controlled. And if your head feels too heavy, support your head with one hand. And just keep the other hand moving down between the legs. Little pause and lower. Oh, bless you. Now you can stay here with your feet on the floor. If you want to work a little bit harder, come up into tabletop and keep going. But just five more. Two more. And then we're staying in either tabletop or with the feet flat on the floor. And we're coming one hand on one side, one hand through the middle. One hand to the side, one hand through the middle. You're looking down the outside. So take a look at that hand down the outside of the leg. Slowly up, slowly back down. Touch down in the middle, then reach up over to the other side. So a nice little pause as you reach up and over. And have your feet still on the floor, just still lifting the upper body. For four more. For three. For two. And last one. Okay, and just lower the legs down, take the arms above, reach the legs away, reach the fingers away and just take a stretch through your front body. Keep your head nice and heavy and just let it softly rock from side to side. Big deep breath in. And then bend your knees back up, take your arms out to the side. Bring your knees up into tabletop. Now in this position, your back is flat on into the floor. Okay, so you shouldn't have a little arch under there. So your knees are over your hips, your arms are out to the side. Breathe in, take the knees to one side, breathe out, coming back. Breathe in to lower, breathe out, coming back. Keep your shoulders and your neck heavy and relaxed. So there shouldn't be tension. If you feel tension into your shoulders and your neck, you're probably going a little bit too far with the legs. So again, it's actually an abdominal exercise. We're controlling the rotation of the pelvis. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep the head long, nice and soft through those front neck muscles. Don't let them tense up. Just at your own pace. For two more. One more on each side. Okay, good job. All right, and then we're going to either roll onto your side or some other way, come up into sitting and grab your TheraBand. I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of retraction. 
So wrap the band around your knee, uh, ankle feet, feet, and sit up nice and tall. So sit up on those sit bones, lengthen up to the crown and just start with a little squeeze back. So the elbows stay tucked in and we're just pinching those shoulder blades together. A little squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Lengthening up. That's it. Good. Perfect. Perfect postures all around. So even as you come back, just pause a tiny second into those shoulder blades. Just isolate that, hold it and then let it go. So you're working that little bit longer time under tension. Okay, we're gonna take the hands flat, open the arms a little bit. Now they don't have to be way up here. They can be wherever you feel comfortable, but we're still squeezing into the shoulder blades. Your neck is nice and long. Sitting up nice and tall, keep the shoulders down away from the ears. There's, you're gonna feel like, especially as you fatigue, that you wanna hitch up, so keep drawing them down. And you might not go as far, might just be a little pinch open. For four more, three, Two, one. Okay, just drop the band. Just bend your knees up. We're just gonna do a little bit of rolling back with our back just to loosen up. So feet are flat on the floor, hold behind your knees, sit up nice and tall, just take a breath in and then on the breath out, tuck your chin to your chest, round out the spine, take it back just a little way, come back up and lengthen. So just work through in your own time. There's no race or rush to this and I just want you to go where you feel you can. So you're just rolling out the spine and then lengthening up tall. So chin to chest, make a C shape and just go as far as you can comfortably. Take it back and then lengthen. It's nice and smooth, not straining anywhere. For three more, for two, last one. Okay, and we're just gonna finish with one more little balance pose. So onto those sit bones, heels or toes on the floor, lengthen up really long out of the crown. So lengthen, you're just perched on your sit bones. Find the balance and then lift the feet up off the floor. Up nice and long and tall and holding it there, breathing. If you can let go of the hands, you can, or one hand. If you feel you can extend a leg, you can go there. Other leg, you're just holding it there on those sit bones. For five, four, three, Two, one, and release. Good job. Give your legs a little shake. Okay, we're just gonna do a little rotation stretch in sitting. So take one hand behind you. Other hand is on the outside of the knee. Use this hand behind you to just help kind of lift up out of that spine. So I really want you to think about elongating the spine. Hand on the outside and just Push on that knee to turn the body away and take a nice big breath and see on the breath out, can you just get a tiny bit more twist? And then you're going to unravel from the belly button, then the ribs, then the sternum, the shoulders, and then the head comes around last. So see if you can break down the movement. Other hand. Lifting you up, hand on the outside of the knee, push on the knee, rotate around. Big breath in, breathe out and see if there's a bit more squeeze there. And then softly unravel, belly button, 
ribs, sternum, shoulders, head. Okay, and then you're gonna come down onto the floor just for a couple more stretches. If you wanna challenge your roll down, take your arms out and see if you can take yourself slowly down onto the floor. Good job. And then if you, you don't have to use the band, but if you've got your band nearby, just wrap it over the ball of one foot and just point and flex. And you should feel a bit of a stretch up through the back of the leg. And you might be able to get your hamstring, you might be able to bring your foot up a bit closer towards you. And swap legs. Okay, and then you just finish off with any stretch that you like, another rotation or a diamond or hug your knees to your chest or come up into happy baby. Just finish off with whatever your body feels like it needs tonight. And just focus on your breathing. Take the breath all the way into the tummy. Let your pelvic floor relax, let the sit bones softly widen as you breathe in. Think about everything just releasing. Just come into, just have your feet, the legs out long on the floor. Take one hand onto the tummy, one hand onto the chest. And you're just gonna do five deep tummy breaths. Keeping the chest, as still as you can. So not breathing into the chest. Take the breath into the tummy. Let the tummy rise. Just let everything sink into the floor. Head is heavy and long. Close off the back of your throat to breathe out if you can. Two more. Last one. And then softly roll onto your side and come up gently so you're not too dizzy.